Good morning. It's Monday, December 12th, and this is actually day two of my RV8 build working on the empennage. I, I tried to record a little video yesterday, but I was more interested in the building part than the setting up the cameras part. Um, and as focused as I was on the building part, I still managed to booger up a part pretty badly that I, I had to reorder. Um, on the RV8, and I'm sure others, um, the front spar for the rear stabilizer, you have these uh, reinforcement angles that after you get all the holes, um, you know, match drilled and whatnot, you actually need to take these square ends and taper them off. And on one piece, I did it pretty badly. I, I measured poorly. Um, I did measure twice and cut once. I just measured incorrectly. And so I ended up with uh, far too little edge distance here um, by not cutting it wide enough at the top. So this part is on reorder. Um, I got on the phone with Van's uh, builder to support this morning and Greg was pretty helpful. I measured this one better. Uh, so I'll go ahead and change into my, uh, my coveralls because a lot of metal shavings flying all over the place and I'll get to work on this. That's a project for this morning. So to recap, the edge distance here is way too small. This one I've measured better, I hope. Um, if I match them up, you can see the difference there. It's pretty substantial. Anyways, so I'm gonna try to turn this into a usable airplane part right over here. Let's see what happens. So far it's coming out better than the last one because I've got the right amount of edge distance here. I'm going to have to round this off for the radius. I'm not going to do that with a Scotch-Brite wheel. I think I'll do that with a, with a Vixen file <clears throat> to try to be a little bit more careful, but I'll chase the rest of these down to the line with the Scotch-Brite wheel. The rest of the building day was uh, properly um, <laughs> completing the lower uh, splice angle. Um, a spoiler alert, um, I had to reorder that upper one more than once, um, messed it up for a different reason. You'll find out about that later. Uh, so one easy way, easier way to get that proper radius um, on the end is to find, uh, in this case, it needs a radius of a half an inch so find a washer with a um sorry a radius of a quarter inch find a washer with a half inch outside diameter and then you can just trace it right off of the end so worked on it very carefully that one turned out great never had to redo that one again but the others i did um as we go a little bit further here um, i'll move over to the workbench and start working on the front spar the tabs in the front spar and you'll see that again another uh, mistake um, and really just a technique mistake um, the tabs where the two halves of the uh, forward spar come together need to be bent just like the splice angles and uh, the reinforcement plates the double plates to go behind them and the instructions are pretty detailed as to how to create the bend. But before you create the bend, you have to 
create some um, relief holes or notches uh, where the bend is going to occur. And um, in a few minutes, you'll see how badly it turned out. Uh, the instructions are to uh, drill a number 30 hole, um, like an eighth inch from the bend line, um, and then flip it over and open that up to a quarter inch. And it got really nasty. Um, trying to do, there was so much chatter, just tore it up. And what you end up with, um, in my case, is a relief notch that doesn't leave enough edge distance for the nearest uh, rivet hole. That's the thing you really have to pay attention to. This was a mess right here. I'm frustrated. <laughs> and I will eventually just end up uh, walking away. I had to reorder that spar to redo it. What I did with the other spar was um, actually when you set the reinforcement uh, doublers on there, you can see the shape that the notch should be, trace it out, and then I just use a Dremel and some files to make a nice clean cut. Um, I will tell you now as I record this um, that it's all done. It's all good. Everything worked out, um, but it took uh, a little bit of learning and a little bit of trying to get it right. Um, there's not much more to say on this one. Uh, this day ended in defeat. Um, I spent a lot of time doing research and asking questions about what I did wrong and uh, reordering uh, the parts that I broke. Um, fortunately, um, they're not that expensive and... Um, live and learn. Uh, this was only day two of the build. Um, many more mistakes to come. So I think we'll go ahead and wrap this one up right here.